comes from Tech Fortress and in this video I'll be showing you how to take scrollable screenshots or there is like these screenshots from top to bottom of your messages or some any similar app so I'll be using OnePlus 3 and it's similar to similar it's, it's a similar process in the OnePlus 3 T2 so it I'll be using a sample app called tap talk to show you how the screenshot is taken and currently this this option is only available in the community edition builds and um, in the ending of the video i'll be showing you how to, which rom to use and how to install it on your phone too so let me go open the tap talk app so as you can see uh, the whole app is like uh, you can see all the posts from top to bottom so the benefit of screen scroll to screenshot is the whole the whole of the page pages from top of the app to bottom of the app will be taken in the same uh, in the same picture so it's similar to the normal screenshot you need to keep holding the power and volume down button you'll be getting an extra option let me show you that yeah that's the extra option which you need to tap on so what it does is it takes continuous screenshots and stitches them from top to bottom automatically so you'll be getting a long screenshot yeah and that's how you take the scrollable screenshots uh, this option first appeared in s7 edge and then now it's available on uh, oneplus 3t's uh, oxygen oneplus 3 and oneplus 3t's oxygen os uh, community edition build and also it's available on the xiaomi mi mi ui 8 also so that's the is a screenshot or final screenshot uh, this is helpful when you're taking um, uh, screenshots of uh, Oh, I can see yeah, uh, messages or WhatsApp messages. So you'll be having the screenshot from top of the conversation to the end bottom end of it. So in order to get this uh, option in your OnePlus 3, you need to install an, a ROM called uh, OxygenOS Community Edition Build. Options are like like these features are already included in that. So the easiest way to install that is called uh, is is by installing an an operating system called. Uh, Freedom OS uh, and there is a community community edition build available. Uh, you can directly install that using GWRP. So oh, let me go show you that now. So in order to download the ROM, you need to go to Chrome or any browser and search for uh, Freedom OS. Freedom OS uh, community edition build. So that will take you to the XDA page where you get all the ROMs and everything. Yeah, you click on that. So go to the starting page. Uh, this is the ROM. In, in this page, you'll be getting the download option too. Yeah, you need to click on the show post. So yeah, you can use the any of these three options. Yeah, I'll be using the first one. As you can see, you can either select OnePlus 3 or OnePlus 3T if you want your uh, phone's build. I am using OnePlus 3, so I'll be using the second option. And then in these in these options, you need to select the OnePlus uh, that the Community Edition build, which is in the which is the third folder, to get the scrollable screenshot option. And then download the latest version, which is 2.5, available. And check for the size; it's around 1.5 GB. Uh, yeah, click on that to download. It will take a while for me to download, I'll be back once the download is done. As you can see the download is completed and before rebooting to TWRP you need to uh, disable the security features such as uh, fingerprint sensor and everything and even the uh, password lock. Otherwise it will be, it'll be quite tough for you to install it on the TWRP. So go to settings and then go to security. Yeah. And then click on the pattern lock. Type in the pattern. And then none. And then yes, remove it. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I need to decrypt the internal memory on your TWRP while you're updating or something like that. So that will that will create a problem if you if you get locked out of TWRP, you need to format your phone phone. So first you need to do is remove your security feature on your OnePlus 3 before updating it. And if you don't, if you guys don't have TWRP on your uh, phone installed, you can mention that in the comment section below so that I'll make a video for you people too. So now reboot your phone to 
JWRP. While rebooting, you'll, you need to uh, you need to keep holding the volume down button that will take you to the recovery. It's getting rebooted. Uh, wait for it to be done. Yeah, it's restarted. Yeah, press the volume down button. You'll be getting your options. Go to recovery. If you people don't have WRP in your phone install, you can mention that in the comment section below. I'll I'll be I am making a video for you. So the mm, yeah, uh, go to download folder and then select the latest thing that which I downloaded previously. That freedom of C uh, two point five. As I told you earlier you can actually select all the apps which you want to be installed and the features or you can actually I can disable it too in this menu you get all the options here yeah. I select the language which you want to get it installed I'm using English next and then next and then next so here are the options if you want if you are if you are Already coming from the previous freedom, like freedom OS, you can, uh, can you can click on the dirty flash thing, or else you can you need to you can if you want a completely new ROM without all the previous apps and everything, you need to click on the no no option over here, and then I'm you I'll I'll be dirty flashing because my previous ROM is also the freedom OS thing, so click next, and yeah it'll. It'll 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 up uh, it'll automatically select the previous choices for me. For you, if you are installing new ROM, you'll be having an option to select the apps which you want to include or you don't want to. So these are all the apps which you can opt in or opt out by checking them. And then click next. Mm, yeah. Save choices. And here, here are the services which you want to. If you want, you can select them to install it. Yeah, yeah, we need the sound recorder and one plus wallpapers and music app dash clock. Okay, one plus file manager. Yeah, that should do it. And one plus weather. Yeah. And next. And these are some features of the ROM sound system and everything and select them or reselect them whatever whatever you want to and then click next and this is for the super SU that's the mm, yeah that's the super super user application there are two options I'll be using super SU directly and these are some other, some other extra features for the ROM you can select it yes only music player Mm, and all the corners and everything. I'm I don't need them uh, as of now. And then yeah, and then click next. This will take a while, and don't worry, it'll take more than five minutes if you're installing it on the first time. If it's truck over there, also don't uh, cancel it, and the installation will be done. I'll be back once the installation is done. The installation is finally done. Yeah, next, and then tap this to reboot your phone directly, and then click next. Finish. So that's how you install Freedom OS uh, or Oxygen OS Community Edition directly without any flashing through the computer and stuff. Start. And let's check whether the scroll scrolling screenshot feature is available now or not. And this will take a while for oh, this. It's just been installed, and I'll be back once the booting process is done. The installation is finally done. It took a while for me for my phone to uh, boot up, and let's check whether the feature is working. This time I'll be taking a scrollable screenshot of this page. So similarly, as I told you, it's the same process. Yeah, keep holding the power and volume down button. And then click on this, uh, tap on this option. That will scroll your page and take the screenshots. And that's how you take scrollable screenshots. And if you want this feature, you need to, you need to install this ROM. 
and thanks for watching the video people uh, i hope this video helped you and you can you can subscribe to my channel to get more updates you can ask me doubts in the comment section below so i can assist you with the installation process and everything and this is Vamsi from Tech Fortress. Uh, thanks for watching the video, people. Take care. Goodbye.